And you already know what it is. I don't even have to say it. Look at Bulk out here. Just messing with you. But we got, what is this? It's a grenade with a dog tag. Better watch out. That means that this is going to hurt. Uh, this is the general hot sauce. This is the general's hot sauce. And this is called Reaper Actual. Yeah. This is a pepper sauce, baby. This is just pepper, just Reaper. There's some cayenne in there, some vinegar, spices. That's it. Simple pepper mash, which is what I love. So let's give this a shot. See how much it annihilates Uncle Bull Cow. I am going to keep this bottle because it's so cool. Oh, yeah. Big old plug in there. It smells like straight reaper. Like it smells. It smells like it's gonna hurt. Let's see. Let's get some some a solo bite going on my little tasting spoon here. The general's hot sauce, actual reaper. Let's see how bad this rocks me. Woo. It's a hot one, guys. Wow. Some people say this is the hottest all-natural sauce they've had. Um, I can see why they said that. It's a hot one. Let's put it on some. I got just a hash brown here with toast and a slice of cheese under it. Let's load it up. Let's see what it does. Ah, it tastes really good. Got a decent amount of salt to really bring out flavor. It's not overly salty, but it has enough. Reaper flavor, I mean, straight, you know it's Reaper. Um, but it's not bitter at all. Usually when you, when you, when usually when you have this much Reaper flavor in a sauce, you'll get some bitter notes. And not everyone can taste those bitter notes. Me, I'm very sensitive to bitters, hots, you guys know. Um, I can taste things a lot of other people can't. Mm. Wow. I'll tell you, it's up there. For not having extract in it being an all natural sauce. Um, it's a hottie for sure. Beautiful consistency. So this was a gift from Vic, Vic Klinko, my friend, who owns the world's largest hot sauce collection. A lot of people are jealous that Vic lives 20 minutes from, from my house. It's a grenade. All right, we're going to do one more bite. Oh yeah, it's just like putting it's just like putting tomato sauce on a pizza. Make sure you put enough of it. Wow, really good sauce. Flavor balance heat is there. Got really good, really good heat to it. Um yeah, I'm waiting to see 
Johnny Scoville do that? Reveal the test from that um, experience, pepper exhaust today. I need to see that. Um, because there's something that's not right. Let me explain some math to you. Here's the deal. If that pepper averages 2.7 million, and that sauce is made up of 91% pepper X, that means that there'd be 2.4 million, 2.45 million actually. Uh, we'll say that that mash, that mixture of powder, peppers, and distillate, right? Uh, would be 2.4 million. Guys, pay attention. I grind all this stuff up, right? 2.7 million peppers in the mixture. Mix it with 9% vinegar. That brings that mash down to a Scoville uh, 2.4 million, right? Yesterday, one of Pucker Butt's workers, um, who I've been friends with face on Facebook with him for three, four years, but something like that. Um, he seen my post that Johnny was going to, was it, shared it from Instagram, that Johnny was going to reveal the test results. And uh, he said, you got to take into consideration that there's, there's a difference between cooked peppers. You know, the sauce has cooked peppers, vinegar, other ingredients. I pulled the label, Pepper X Experience label. It said peppers, vinegar, that's it. Distillate and powder are part of that 91%, the peppers. A, there is no other ingredients, right? <clears throat> B, how much capsaicin is lost when cooking peppers? Especially these guys got big... They got big steam kettles, man. They don't they don't let it reduce. It's not like it's evaporating off. How much capsaicin is lost when cooking? Well, capsaicin doesn't break down until it's over 400 degrees. No one's cooking their sauce at that temperature. So if those test results come back, say, say it's say that toss, say that sauce comes back in a test at 120. Thousand Scoville units, right? Let's just say hypothetically, one hundred twenty thousand Scoville units. That would mean that Pucker Butt would be claiming that ninety five percent of the capsaicin is lost when you cook a hot sauce. Do you believe that? No. But we'll see the test results. I don't know what they are. I was just given that for example. And that's very extreme. We all know that's not true. We all know if it does lose a little bit. I mean, hot sauce isn't as hot as peppers because there's vinegar and there is other ingredients. There is onions. A lot of times there's just other stuff people are putting in there. Sometimes mixing it with different peppers, milder peppers. But when you have a sauce that says over 91% pepper X and it's only 9% vinegar. It's pretty simple to figure the math out. So I did ask um, Tom, I don't care, I'll say his name. Uh, I said, hey, I said, how much capsaicin is lost during cooking? I wasn't being a jerk at all. I just asked him. And uh, you know, he went to Ed with that and told Ed what we were talking about and what I posted. Ed told him to unfriend me. So no answer. There's no answer at all. You see, these people think we're stupid. Okay? They do. That's exactly what happened was he thought he was going to throw that other ingredients thing in there and throw me off and be like, oh yeah, I never thought about that. No. no. There's not vinegar and other ingredients. Unless you lied. Unless you lied to the FDA and your and your your label is, is false. There's no other ingredients. Pepper products and vinegar. That's what you claim. So I'm gonna just see the test results because 
we're going to then see what it is. There's no way you're going to claim 50%, 60%, 70, 80, 90, 95%. Of capsaicin disappears when you make when you cook it. I'll tell you right now, it's not true. If you take, check this out. If you take, and I've, I've done it, I make fermented hot sauces once in a while. You take a whole bunch of reapers, grind them down into a paste, add two and a half percent salt, mix it up, make a mash out of it. You know, you let that mash ferment or whatever. That stuff is hot as hell, man. It doesn't, it doesn't get milder. And then I take that and I were to cook it down with just a little bit of vinegar. It would be stupid. It'd be stupid hot. There's no way I'm losing. It's like, oh yeah, yeah we're going to lose this much. So watch out for snake oil salesmen, folks. All right. Anyways, we're not here to talk about the, the frauds. We're going to talk about this excellent sauce. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's pretty hot. Um, you know, I've had people say it's the world's hottest natural sauce that they've had. And for some people that haven't tried, there's a few other ones out there that are hotter than this, I think. Um, but the overall, really hot, really good. So give the general some love. Uncle Boca loves you. Why?